outdoor guy at the age of 65 compared to when you were a kid out in St. Jacobs? It is a little colder, but uh, you know we'll get through it. It's going to warm up for that uh, New Year's Eve game, I'm sure. Yeah. This is pretty cold. How exciting is that going to be, Daryl, when you think about it? And uh, you look at that Red Wing lineup, my oh my, that's uh, a Hall of Fame lineup in itself as well. Well, I think the most important thing for all of us is the significance of the 100th anniversary of the Leafs. And, uh, you know, playing an outdoor game, the first one here in Toronto and BMO Field, uh, is pretty special. Um, our guys are training. We're, we'll be ready for them. If Palmateer can stand on his head, we got a chance of winning. And he stood on his head in Detroit a couple of years ago. He did. He's a competitive guy. As long as his body lasts, that's the thing. Eh? But uh, we're all looking forward to it. It's a, it's a great celebration for the, uh, the Leafs and the city of Toronto. And, you know, the rivalry with Detroit's getting better all the time. So looking forward to the, the whole event. The mayor talked about the fitness component uh, with this and in this day, and he mentioned texting and computers and all that goes with it. It's great to go back to the roots, isn't it, and, and, and do what was best for many of us when we were younger. Well, if you can create the, uh, the opportunities for kids uh, and, and give them a reason to, to do it, um, that's key, you know. I mean, it's easy to stay inside and, and keep warm, but uh, I know when you do get out and after you're done, there's a nice feeling of, uh, you know, having some fun and enjoying the sport, but... Uh, uh, developing some friendships also so uh, I think it's great that the city's opening uh, six rinks at that time family can get together and uh, you know be lots of goodies hot chocolate and all those other things but uh, more importantly get a little exercise on top of it